This time, this time, um, the message is going to be a little different. It's going to be a message. It's going to be a, a message, um, a relationship, relational, a message between two people, a relation, relation, a relation, um, a relationship message in the sense that um, the direct word is uh, direct word. And, and, and in this direct word, um, many of you that's, that's listening to me. You have a big heart. You have a big heart. You back heart, and you're loyal to a fault. And so, and because you have a big heart, um, you overlook a lot of stuff. You take a lot. You take a lot. You see a lot. You absorb a lot. And um, in your mind, your mindset, your mindset, uh, uh, you think, particularly in this particular um, situation that you're in, and it's a matter of the heart. You think that. If you be quiet, you say it in yourself, you say it within your mind, if I be quiet, then that's love, I'm loving them. Because, you know, me being quiet, it's going to, things gonna happen, things gonna change, he gonna change, she gonna change in time, situation's gonna change, but I'm just gonna be quiet. And so you think that, you think that silence, and you think that being quiet, and you, you think that silence and being quiet, you think things gonna be fixed like that. You're gonna, you're gonna be fixed. And so, uh, but you're frustrated because you find yourself, it seems like you're in quicksand. It feels like uh, you're in the same situation. It feels like you ain't, ain't nothing happening. Ain't nothing getting any better. Ain't nothing getting any better, uh, but but things in you is getting worse. But yet and still, you say it's love. See, now you saying that, now in your silence, in your silence, you ensuring love, but actually, when you're silent, I'm gonna tell you what's happening, that's not love. What's happening is that in your heart, you're building up resentment. That's what you're doing. You're building up bitterness. Because the thing about the thing about when, when when there's an issue and something happens and you're not you're not able to address it and 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 have closure on it or deal with it, then it's gonna linger. It's gonna linger. And the more it lingers, it's gonna grow, it's gonna grow and grow. It's gonna grow. And so that's where many of you are, where you thought it was love for waiting and being quiet, but you took all those blows. You've been suffering. You've been suffering in silence, and so now that thing that you thought that was love because you were silent and you was quiet, now you're bitter. You are bitter. You are bitter. You are bitter. And, and and in your mind, you think God has failed you. In your mind, you wonder what's wrong. Well, let me tell you. Let me tell you the problem. Let me tell you the problem. Let me tell you the problem. The problem. Um, it's in First Peter three, First Peter, um, third chapter. Seven verse. This is your answer. You want to know why? This is your answer. Silence. Now, the Bible says that a man should dwell with a woman according to knowledge. Now, when you dwell with someone, that means you live with them every day. And so, when you're living with them, uh, according to knowledge, that means that you have to communicate, you have to talk, you have to speak certain things. And so, if you don't speak those things out, then he won't know and she won't know. And so the problem is you're not talking. And see, the thing about it, you have to be able to express what's in you. But the thing about it, the caveat, but the thing about it, you have to use wisdom. Uh, you have to use wisdom. That's why I mentioned, um, I think today, this morning, to ask God for wisdom because you need wisdom. You need wisdom on how to express what is in you. And see, because see, some of you, you want to express it. But you have a hard time with words. You have a hard time. And so because of that, when you say certain things, because you say some things from an emotional place, and you don't think about it. You don't think about it. You just think, you just say what you feel. But then you feel bad later because of the consequences. And see, I'm talking to some people now. You have a beautiful heart. You have a beautiful, beautiful heart. You have a beautiful heart. And, and, and you love so much. You're very passionate. And because of that, you're very, you're very um, aggressive. You're very uh, vocal. And you express it in a very expressive, uh, but but I want to let you know. But but you find yourself. But but now you find yourself in a situation where you wonder why people and situations are attacking you. And see, but what it is is that go back in your mind and just remember, if 
instead of telling your mind, if you could have held it in, then everything would have been cool. So what God is teaching, teaching you in this, in this season, this hour, you're a beautiful person, beautiful heart. God is teaching you wisdom. And see, there's a scripture that says, study to be quiet. See, some of you, God is teaching you how to study to be quiet because you're busy about it. You talk too much. You're always talking, running your mouth. And so because of that, your mouth is destroying what you're trying to build. And so because of that, God got to get to them lips. He got to get to that mouth. He has to train and teach your mouth. That way, your tongue, your mouth won't, won't, won't kill what you're doing, what, God, what you're doing for God. And so, and so um, that's my word. That's my word is to listen to God and um, don't suffer in silence. Silence builds resentment. Some kind of way you got to figure out a way and ask God to give you the wisdom on how God, how can I really let her know how I feel? How can I let him know how I feel without him or her misunderstanding? There's a way, there's a way, there's a way, there's a way, there's a way. And, and it's your job to find that way find that and and that's what power is power is when god's giving you the power god has given you the know-how he's giving you the insight the ability to it to be able to do it to understand it and so those are my words today sort of sort of um direct word plus words of wisdom um encouragement insight it's just that in order for things to happen in all things for change you got to break out of that shell you got to come out of that cave you got to get, stop getting beat up and, and suffering in silence. You got to come out of that. Come out of that cave. Okay? God bless you.